Welcome back from the break and thank you so much for keeping it UPC TV. Now, Makerere University Chancellor Professor Ezra Suruma has decried the inhuman treatment of Ugandan citizens seeking employment abroad. Uh, the professor tasks government to create employment for the citizens so as to curtail what he termed as modern day slavery in outside countries. He made the appeal during Makerere University's 68th graduation ceremony where over 14,000 students were awarded various academic disciplines ranging from diplomas to doctorates. Excitement and jubilations characterized the day one of Makerere University graduation ceremony as over 14,000 students are set to graduate in a period of four days. A procession by the university chancellor and vice chancellor accompanied by a big number of professors started the day at around 9 on Tuesday morning. The graduation will run in phases and will end this Friday. The first phase on Tuesday saw students from the College of Education and External Services, Agricultural and Environmental Services, and College of Natural Sciences graduate. You are going out to the world, which expects a lot from you. We have trained you to be critical thinkers and not merely job seekers. Go out and get the jobs the country is young for. The students were awarded various academic disciplines ranging from diploma to PhD. Over 70 students received PhD in different disciplines, most of whom were youthful, and they attribute their success to hard work and determination. The, the PhD I've gotten is very, very important for the youth and the people of Kakumiro district, where I come from, from Bunyoro. And it's very, very, very important that it's going to inspire the younger ones. It's something like 10 years since we got a PhD in our community. But now as a younger person, I've also come out. I think this is going to be an inspiration for the younger people also to come to school and also get such a kind of things. To get PhDs in their late 50s, early 60s, or even up to 70s. But uh, the, uh, the, 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 the secret behind my, my, my success, supportive supervisors by the names of Dr. Florence Chaze and Dr. Paul Mukwaya. They really supported me a lot. They were there for me as and when I needed them. Uh, my PhD, I started it now in 2013 and I've been able to complete it today. I feel honored and happy and I want to make a great significant contribution to the development of this country. There were also 980 students awarded with the master's degree and expressed joy upon their success. I'm Nakazu Christine. I've gotten a degree of Master of Science in Animal Science. The journey has been a long one, but I believe the fruits are not worth the bother. It has been hard. It is worth it. It is worth celebrating today. Yes. Years have changed. Uh, now people get masters at an early age because the world is changing. The employment world out there needs people with so many degrees out there. It's competitive. And then I encourage the young ones to, it's, it's not easy, but with persistence and with God, you can actually make it. Yeah, challenges are there, like, you know, money, economically, Uganda, we have issues of funds, but I mean, when you work hard, it's worth it. And sometimes you can even also get scholarships here and there. The one thing I've realized is that actually, this part of the hardship we have gone through, what here and there, but God has been there for us to show us a good passage for this course. And we have actually excelled. We are among the top students. This part of the hurdles, coursework, here and there. We had challenges, of course, of tuition. Eh? We, like, you, don't, you don't have tuition at the very beginning. You have coursework despite all those hardships. Eh? We've been able to make it, and we are happy for that day. I had a lot of challenges to at least come to this level. So I, I pray God for that. What the government can do is to give us a step in terms of employment so that we shall be the typical example to people. 
who have gone to school or who are still wishing to study. Winnie Mandela, ex-wife to late Nelson Mandela, the freedom fighter, will be given an honorary doctorate of law in recognition for her exclusive and continuous contribution to the liberation struggle of South Africa and Africa as a whole. The authority entrusted to me. During the graduation ceremony, the Chancellor Ezra Suruma tasked the government to create employment for the citizen so as to curtail what he termed as modern day slavery camouflaged in the names of jobs in outside countries. By reminding all of us here to be ever more sensitive about the African condition. The dignity of the African nations and the African people in particular is now being openly and greatly attacked and abused. Africans who cannot find employment at home have been facing inhuman conditions and death in their attempts to immigrate to other continents. Urged the graduates to be careful while searching for greener pastures abroad as conditions are sometimes inhuman. We must create an environment at home so that our people do not have to face humiliation and death from the high seas and in foreign countries. The time for compliance in Africa is over. Every African has the duty to fight slavery colonialism, and neo-colonialism. No one should think that these are just words. They are real forces that threaten the present and future of the African people. Matches, it was an exciting moment here at Makerere University graduation. These students have just joined thousands of those who graduated previously who are still on the streets looking for jobs. The task is now upon the government to create an enabling environment to absorb all these students and Ugandan youth who are jobless on the streets. Philip Aguta, reporting.